Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the worldwide cyber interwebs. My name is Sarah Megan, this is my show, X Megan, where we're going to be talking about news and stuff. Today is Technology Tuesday, so let's jump right in. Woo! And today, guys, I'd like to begin this video with an apology to my many viewers. My many viewers about not posting videos on Thursday and Friday and yesterday. Thursday and Friday I was really busy and yesterday I was just really, really freaking lazy. Anyways, I'd like to offer my sincere apology. I'm still working out some formatting issues with the show. So yeah, let's get into the news. So let's talk about the future and in the future your phone may be made out of paper. What I'm talking about is buggy paper and it's 10 times thinner than paper and it's stronger than diamonds. Buggy paper is made out of carbon nanotubes. Each nanotube is 50,000 times thinner than your hair. This technology is going to be further implemented in the future, especially in phones and tablets. So this is your future phone. It's all flippity and floppity, flippity floppity, flippity floppity. But when I want it to be a normal phone, it's like BAM! And it gets hard and stuff and I can use it as a normal phone. Oh, hello, blah 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 blah, it's a phone. Then when I'm done with my phone, I can just, you know, make it flippity floppy again and I just roll it up and I can put it in my pockets. Bucky paper is also in the future of armor. Because it's so thin, light, and durable, it makes the perfect material for bulletproof armor. Anyways, what are your thoughts on Bucky paper? I myself find it a little bit odd, but then again, I'm a little bit odd myself, so yeah. I'm very interested in hearing your opinions from like, all 12 of you. Yesterday, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, unveiled details of the fifth mode. Fifth mode. Fifth mode. Fifth mode. Transportation. Ooh, ah, it sounds so cool. This system will be called the Hyperloop. It's essentially a train that goes 800 miles per hour. This means a trip from LA to San Francisco would only take 35 minutes. And best of all, this will only cost the simple pocket money of, you know, six billion dollars. Hyperloop is competing with the high speed rail. The high speed rail can make the same trip to LA to San Francisco in three hours, yet it has a budget of 68 billion. I don't understand how the Hyperloop would be so much cheaper and faster, but apparently it will be. Anyways, my name's Harrison Megan. This was X Megan. That was Technology Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow for World News Wednesday. Later.